you heard what they said, Newark Strong. <laughs> Just left the pharmacy. And I'm having a colonoscopy. So I got a bag full of goodies. <laughs> because they want to make sure that colon is clean when they send that camera up there, you hear me? So, for those of you that haven't had it yet, if you in your 50s and you need to have this, or you haven't had it, you need to go ahead and get this done. This is very important. Because that colon cancer is serious. It'll take you out of here. I don't know what it is about fried chicken, man. You know what I'm saying? It may be even in our DNA. Doctor told me I need to stop eating fried foods because my cholesterol is high. He want me to stop eating fried chicken and fish and stuff like that. But look where I'm at. <laughs> I'm about to celebrate right now. It's because I'm gonna have to cut out eating the fried food. Homie, you gonna help me out? Look, dude standing back there like, listen, you can't give up the fried chicken. <laughs> yes, I can. I can order me some chicken right now and then I may not eat no chicken again for the rest of my life. I ain't gonna tell that lie, but I'm gonna have to cut way back though. Best fried chicken in North. Or well, one of the best. They don't just have fried chicken now. They got other stuff in here too. Little pizza. Sandwiches. How much is it? Please don't forget to like, comment, and share. Alright, so I'm gonna eat this chicken while I talk about the upcoming appointments for this month. Obviously, this is the month of December. I'm doing a Vlogmas. It's gonna be 24 days in this Vlogmas. And, uh, the New York chicken pretty good. And, um, each day is gonna be gonna be doing something different. I got upcoming surgery. I'm gonna have a cyst removed. I'm also having a colonoscopy. And this ain't something that I wanna talk about. I'm talking about it is because it takes the fear and anxiety away from me. And I figure I document it just in case anyone else is going through this, help them to relieve some of their stress just for seeing, you know, that they're not the only one that's going through that. The only one that have to have surgery or the only one that have to have a colonoscopy or any type of procedure done. You know what I'm saying? That I've been diagnosed as a type 2 diabetic. So that's a whole other ball game when it comes to medical issues. I'm going to have to lose 38 pounds, which that's going to take me down to about 200. <laughs> I'm serious. This is nothing to play about. They say I could possibly have chronic kidney disease or kidney failure, whatever you want to call it. My dad is already suffering from that. But why I'm sharing this is because they have a preventive medicine which tell you what to do before it really gets too serious. So everything is like borderline. That's type 2 diabetes. That's also the kidney disease. It's, it's borderline. Along with the high blood and the sugar. Everything is like right beneath being real serious. So what they tell me is if I lose down to 200 pounds, I can reverse all that I just named if I get down to 200 pounds. And that's why I'm documenting it so that everyone will get to see, you know, that you ain't in this by yourself. There's other people that are suffering from these health issues too. But it's just what you're going to do about it once you hear it from your doctors. Or, you know, anybody in the medical field, they telling you you need to change something in your health, you need to change. They telling me I need to stop eating this fried chicken or fried foods and, you know, stuff that's high in cholesterol and high in fat. Because I don't need it, you don't need it either. <laughs>